uh, first of all, I mean, I'm the, from the field and I associated myself actually with the images I have seen in this room. Exact scenario I can remember. Um, the challenge of uh, no electricity or partially functioning, which is not really efficient. And the problems that you were outlining, you know, exactly. Uh, but the good thing about the exhibition is it starts with the problems, the challenges, but then goes to the solutions. Uh, and now when we say solutions, I was very happy to see the opportunity. Panels, the cost re re reduced by 90%, uh, and batteries by 60% since from, you know, the prices 10 years ago. So there is opportunity. And he was telling me 1,000, I think, in four countries. Yeah, installations. Uh, since there is opportunity and you have shown it in those countries, the issue would be expanding it. Mm -hmm. So our uh, colleagues, UNICEF, yes. <laughs> our colleagues from CELCO, I think we need to Gavi. really make it. Gavi, yeah. Gavi is here, Gavi. Yes, Ikea Foundation. So we need uh, to, to make it big. And we need to make it also fast. So better, bigger, faster. Absolutely. If we can agree. But uh, it's really impressive. Uh, I think people can be convinced with this uh, very well-organized uh, presentation that shows the case, the problem, seriously and then the solutions which are at hand. And what's missing is the will to do it. So we need commitment, will, and that will bring, of course, the resources we need. And to my partners, to our partners, uh, thank you so much and uh, look forward to working with you closely. But let me just say how grateful I am with the partnership uh, with WHO, uh, with Selco Foundation, because what we're basically doing here is saving children's lives. Mm -hmm. If you are inside there and you see what happens if there's no electricity, tell me how do you deliver a newborn baby if there's no light? Tell me how do you provide hygiene when there is no water pump? Tell me how you keep vaccines safe if there's no cold chain. That's what we're talking about. This is not a luxury, this is essential. And this is about, as it says here on the board, the difference between life and this. And we do not, no longer have to wait to get us connected to the grid. Solarization, distributed energy is cheaper, it's better, it's faster, and it can go the last mile where the people in need are the highest. That's what we can do. That's what this is providing. And we aim with this partnership to solarize at least 10,000 primary health care facilities because we can. Yeah, even own. more. <laughs> we, and exactly. And I was going to say, and we need to do more. So we're looking for financiers that can help work with us to scale this because children's lives depend on it. One on four children are suffering because there's no pediatric care, because there's no electricity. That is just simply no longer acceptable. We're 2023. Come on. That's just last year, Dr. Degros, last time when we were on the Zoom, uh, we had promised that before we meet you next, that was seven months ago, that we will do 1,000. Yes. Actually, with ICA Foundation and yeah. Aina, we have done 5,000 in okay. India. So you are and, heading, huh? <laughs> No, and, and we promise you that in next two years, we will do 25,000 that ICA Foundation us have committed to do 25,000. Wow, that's oh. 25,000. Oh. No, by 2027, we should complete the world. If, if a small organization like us, with the support of you and, and ICA have been able to do it, I think, it's it's criminal that we are not able to do by 2027. Exactly. I think, and we should all together push for. Thank you so much thank for you. all your support. I can't thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Just to say quickly to our dear colleagues at Selco in India, you know, you are getting enormous credit already here at COP for the fantastic work you do on electrifying the health centers. And I think everyone is surprised that we are going to be able to do 25,000 health centers in rural India within a relatively short amount of time. And I'm confident that when we have done those 25,000 to, together, when you have learned, you have built the evidence, you have figured out what works, what doesn't work, we can go ahead and do it cheaper and better and faster for the next 75,000 health centers Absolutely. in India. And that's the thing that we can do as in a combination of philanthropy and, and, uh, and a great partner like Selco, we can do that work to actually develop the models that work 
we can find out what doesn't work and we can go together to a point where the rest of the world will come after us because we show them the way we demonstrated how we can how it can be done effectively and efficiently in a way that it also sits there in 10 years as effectively as it is the day we build it because that's part of it as well it's actually having the system around it, the maintenance system the, the follow-up system the support system that makes sure that this is working 24 7 uh, year after year with the company together with the companies that provide the services and the equipment and uh, that's extremely um, important for us and extremely fulfilling for us to see that this can be done uh, it means that we're going to help millions of people in rural India to a much better start in life thank you thanks Per. thank you so much thank you now i'm just uh, so proud and i feel very grateful to be here today to kind of look back also for all the things the the, the great things that we have done together with akia foundation together with you and uh, I'm really going to make sure now when I'm stepping in as an incoming CEO from 1st of January to really build on all the great things that has been done in the past, but also, of course, uh, step into the future and create even more and greater things. And I think what I see here when I went through the exhibition uh, a couple of days ago, I feel uh, that, you know, we have really good solutions and now it's up to us to really do more and really make sure that we reach uh, the place where we where we really can make a difference for the many people. So, thank you so much. Thanks. I want to speak to you, dear colleagues that are online. I know you're not my colleagues, but you are my friends because you are doing what really has to be done. That is improving the lives of young children by solarizing primary health care units so they that actually have a fighting chance from the moment that they are conceived. We tend to forget but climate change impacts young children before they are born because it leads to higher incidence of preterm labor. It leads to different composition of breast milk. It leads to organ failures just after they're born because their bodies can't cope with the heat. It leads to flooding and vector-borne diseases. It leads to malnutrition. All these things require healthcare, pediatric healthcare. We can do it if we have the light, if we have the energy, if we can store the medical, uh, the vaccines, if we have electricity for the medical equipment, but we can actually do it. And with your help, you're delivering change. You're delivering a dream, the dream embedded in the SDGs, a life in dignity for everyone that's born, no matter where you are. That is our motto in UNICEF for every child. Thank you for making that happen together with us and together with WHO. I'm proud to be part of this partnership. Bye guys, keep on doing it. Light, light to the healthcare facilities. What else? I've been uh, myself a medical doctor working on very difficult and isolated places. It was so painful to take care of patients in the night with uh, maybe kerosene lamp or very difficult situation. This is unacceptable. Today we are in 2023, so I don't understand why we cannot solarize all healthcare facilities in Africa and even beyond. Uh, we need to make sure that no one will have a problem on their life because lack of electricity, lack of energy to provide our health centers with life and light. Thank you. As a Gavi representative, I'm very glad to be to be here today for this uh, unveiling of, uh, of this facility. Um, as I often say, we don't have a vaccine for climate change, but we have lots of solutions. And this is one of them that uh, will have a major impact uh, for the years to come. And we are fully supportive of the solarization of uh, health systems and cold chain uh, equipment as well. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for joining everyone. And uh, we have some great commitments from all our partners today and great reception as well. So hope we can continue the work on the ground and inspire many more new targets in new countries.